everyone so it's vlogmas day 10 technically it's 9 and 10 because i didn't really film anything yesterday um i had my class after work so i didn't really film anything um except my notebook as you can see in the previous clip uh that's because i did take my camera with me but then i forgot my memory card to go with it so i actually turned it on and then i tried to do a vlog during my lunch and then it told me that there was no memory card inside so i was like oh super fail so um yeah sorry about that i don't have anything else for vlogmas 9 i basically just went to my class um got home early and then i just like chilled for a bit and then i went to bed so yeah and um i decided not to vlog anything during my lunch this afternoon because it was pretty much the same routine as uh, usual i just wander around chinatown and downtown pretty much and uh yeah so um i'm doing a few things today so i have to start wrapping some gifts and i am going to work on my assignment um, for school and then I have some more editing to do. So I just want to show you a little bit of what I'm doing today. Okay, so right now I'm actually wrapping a birthday gift for a friend. And just in case she watches this vlog, I have covered it up. So what I'm actually doing right now is... Um, so I actually had this Japanese magazine lying around that I got from Japan. It was a free magazine, so um, don't feel bad that I ripped out the pages. And because I don't really read that magazine anymore. Um, and I actually was trying to think of a good way of like concealing this gift. Um, because as you can see here, this is the wrapping paper that I got from Dollarama. And... A little did I know it was actually transparent. Um, for some reason, I thought it would be okay. I don't know why. But yeah, so to cover up the um, logo and stuff for the GIF, I wanted to figure out a way um, that I could cover that up. So actually, originally, I didn't think of using uh, magazine pages because I... Didn't, it didn't even occur to me until I saw my magazine just lying around somewhere. Um, first, I wanted to use loose leaf paper, so that's like lined paper, I guess, depending on what you call it where you are. And then I was like, oh, maybe I should use blank printer paper. But then I thought about it, and I didn't want to waste printer paper, because this stuff can be expensive. And I also have some, um, what do you call this, construction paper. But um, it's actually really thick, so I, I like to use these for cards, and I was like, well, this, this might be a little bit harder to fold over and stuff. As you can see, I tried to <laughs> attempt to do that and didn't do a great job. So, yeah, I decided that the magazine would uh, be best. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap the other side of the present, and then I will put the transparent wrapping paper on, and hopefully it looks beautiful. Okay, so like I finished wrapping and um, I'm not going to show you guys the final product because um, if that person's watching then they'll know exactly what their gift is, kind of, like they'll know what it looks like and I want it to be like a surprise, so yeah. Um, so this is what's left over of that transparent wrapping paper. And my goodness, it rips really easily and it's like got static clean and stuff. And then that blue ribbon was part of the ribbon that I tried to make. So I am just about to um, edit a video right now. I can't really see my mouse through the viewfinder here. But yeah, there's the... That's what I use to edit, guys. It is uh, called Premium... What do you call it? It is called Adobe Premiere Pro. Look at that. Really focus. Damn it. Okay, let's focus now. In the background is um, this like cool mix um, for one of Canon Wakashima songs. And uh, yeah, so I am just going to listen that, listen to that while I edit some stuff. And uh, it's gonna take a while to load, so. 
So I just watched the uh, YouTube Rewind for 2015 and I was wondering what you guys thought of it. Um, I actually haven't watched any of the rewinds from the last few years, um, mainly because I just wasn't really interested in that kind of stuff on YouTube before, but then I thought I'd check it out because people were talking about it and it's actually pretty good. I didn't know that they um, just uh, compiled like a bunch of like famous YouTubers in it to reenact like the most popular videos of 2015 so that's pretty cool. Um, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below and of course I will always uh, comment back because you guys are awesome.